So on this project in particular, we're using different material than we're used to. This is inch and three quarter. Normally ours are two and a half and we only use the fiber cement bats, but on this place, they're going for more of a budget build. Completely understandable. So we've got an inch and three quarter bat running all the way along the top. That breaks up the lid from the wall. Gives you a nice good spot to run this bat up to, along with all your trim on the corners and whatnot. Quick little tip for everybody, as you know, bats are spaced 16 or 24, depending on the build. But let's say you get to this corner, you hook this bat pullover at 16 on top, hook that bat pullover at 16 on bottom, but your reveal from here to there isn't the same. It's better to match the reveal from this bat to this trim than it is to go 16 from here to there. Nobody's gonna be able to tell if this is 16, hook it to it, and 16 and a half, hook it to it, but they will see that small gap being different along the way. So on all corner trim, I just pull a number. This one's two and three quarter all the way down. And regardless of what it's doing this way, we're an eighth off right now. It'll always look good because that reveal is perfect all the way up. So let's check and see if we were off. We're spot on 16 on top. Yeah. More an eighth off. That's no biggie though. We do that on our windows as well. Check this one, we're two and a half there. Two and a half in the center. And two and a half at the bottom. These ones where it's farther away, nobody's gonna notice. But when it comes down to these little guys here, you wanna do the same thing. Make sure that reveal's spot on. As you can see, we come down, everything's nice and good until you get down to the very bottom here. It tightens up like crazy. Now, when they run this waterproofing up, it does just that. We dealt with it on the last house that we did as well. On that house, we made it work in quite a few different spots, but this one here, as you can see, that's a little tight. Not this one, it just happened. We were at your dad's house after work. I was talking to your dad through the window. Mm -hmm. I felt this wind blowing on my neck and I turned around and it's Quentin like sniffing the back of my neck or something. I don't know if he was like checking the hair out or what the deal was. <laughs> kind of creeped me out.
lunchtime right now. We're just cruising along for today. We got all this section skinned out along the second story. Fox is working on getting backing put up in here for our lid. We could have done it when we framed, but we knew we were doing the siding, so we figured we'd do it later. All this lid material is already in all the way around the back side, along the deck. We are working on this side right here and in the front. We've got our drip edge here. Sheets didn't quite reach the top. Still need to do the lid out here. I'm gonna start a GoFundMe for you. How much, how many likes does it take to do this? Truck? <laughs> it's a lot of lights. They don't care about you that much. Ooh. Don't jump on it. Good boy. I think that's up. Two inches? I'm up right there, so I'm assuming so. Send it, box. <laughs> It is cleanup time. We are out of here. If anyone's wondering, this is the end sealer we use, Advantage Plus. That's what all this material is, is Advantage Plus. Nice stuff. Great saw, super heavy. This is a cheap Ryobi stand. We've had it for a long time, but it works well. It's $100 at Home Depot since the skill saw doesn't have a standout until next year. Hoping that when they do come out with a stand, they come out with something nice like the table saw.